Hi everyone, in this video we will be learning how to draw a vector arrow in Illustrator. Before we get started, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications. To draw an arrow in Adobe Illustrator, start by selecting the pen tool. Draw a line, straight or curved, with two anchor points. As a first example, I will be drawing an arrow with a straight line. So position the pen tool where you want the line to begin and click to define the first anchor point. Click again where you want the line to end. Hold shift when you click to draw a straight line. To leave a path open, hold control or command and click anywhere on the document. Uh, now I'm going to select the selection tool and select the segment. Open the stroke panel by pressing Ctrl or Command and F10 or go to Window and select the stroke panel. Uh, the first thing you find in the stroke panel is the weight. I am going to change mine to 5 pixels. After the weight section, you can see other sections including the arrowhead. If the only thing you see is the weight, uh, it is because your options are hidden. So go to the uh, little icon on the top right of the panel, click on it, and you'll get the option Show Options. Click on it and you should be able to see all the hidden options. Okay, so make sure your segment is selected. Go to the arrowhead section and I'm going to start with the uh, arrowhead on the end point, which is the one on the right. So click on the drop down menu and you have many options of arrows. Uh, select the one you like. So if you're satisfied, you can just leave the arrowhead on one point or you can add a, another arrowhead uh, to the start point. So select the segment, go to the arrowhead section, and this time click on the drop down menu on the left side. And you can either pick an arrowhead that has the same style or a different one. As you can see, there are many options. To switch arrowheads relative to the lines start and end arrows, click on the uh, icon swap start and end arrowheads. So this icon, if you click on it, it will invert the arrowheads. And this is useful, for example, if you make a copy of your uh, arrow and you decide that you want it in the opposite direction. So instead of like having to redraw it and re-add the arrowheads and re-proportion it and everything, you just swap it. Another thing you can do is scale the arrowheads. So select the segment and for example, if you change the weight of the line, like from 5 to 10, you can see that the uh, arrowheads automatically scale with the weight. So if you like want to scale them independently, 
you go to the skill section and there is a uh, the option to scale either the beginning, the start point, or the end point separately, or you can lock them and scale them proportionally. For example, uh, I just scaled just the end point bigger. Or, for example, I can scale just the start point and make it smaller. So I scale them separately. Okay, so now I'm going to press Ctrl Z to go back. Uh, and if I press on the link uh, start and end arrowheads, this will link them together. So if I scale one or the other, they will both scale proportionately. Uh, in the profile section, uh, you can select different profiles for your segment. You can go through them and see if there's something interesting you can use. I'm just going to stick with the uniform segment because that works for me. Uh, also, you can see the align section where there are two icons. The second one is automatically selected. In here, you can choose from the first icon where the arrowhead attaches and starts uh, at the end of the path so it extends its length. Instead, the second icon, which is the one that is automatically selected, the arrowhead becomes part of the overall length. So it ends where the segment ends. It does not extend its length. So this first example was done with a straight line. But as I said, you can draw a curved line as well. All you have to do is draw the line and follow the same steps. Select it and add the arrowhead. You can draw a more unique line as well, like zigzagged or waved. Select one of the segments, go to the color panel, and select the stroke color you want to give it. Also, I forgot to specify this at the beginning of the video. It is better to set the fill to none. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.